Hey, what's up, YouTube? Some of you guys have been asking me to do a in-game settings and a respawn class setup, so I decided to do one today. I'm gonna be over my settings real quick. I play on tactical. I have vibration off, sensitivity five, and brightness in the middle. I like playing on sensitivity five because I feel like it's not it's it's fast enough where I can move around in case like there's someone behind me. I have to turn around real quick, but it's not slow because I, I hate moving like really slow, like a turtle, like three sensitivity, two sensitivity. I play with no vibration because I know some players do, but it just bothers me like when I'm shooting. It has that, it's the vibration in my hands kind of bothers me. It makes me feel like I'm missing my shots. And then tactical, you know, I have a scuff, so I'm able to jump with the A button, but it's the paddle. It's really easy, and then I just knife on my right paddle. It's not a big deal. Also, I'll show you my guys my classes. I have a Bison class. A lot of you guys know the Bison is really overpowered now. I have steady aim on it. It's ba basically a selfish class to run around, you know, slay. It's really good, so I might as well have one, but I'm starting to use it less and less. I have my trophy and aid class. I like to use this class on octane domination because, you know, you got to hop flags, and people love to use nades on there. Like, a lot of people have nade spots. So, you know, trophy definitely helps, especially when going to another flag. I have a nade to get people off flags. Then also, I have my another bison class, <laughs> since it's really that good, I have two. I have one with a double stun and a reflex. That way, because since now people are using a lot of selfish classes, like either with a stun and a nade, which is not selfish, but they're, they're running steady aim, so they don't have attack resist. So me stunning my opponents all the time are allowing me to like know where they're all, where they are, calling them out, and my teammates basically just cleaning them up. So it helps the team out a lot. Then for my other class, I have an MTAR with attack resist. Now this is like maybe a rush class off break. You know, I want to get somewhere fast. I want. No, I don't want to get stunned. I, don't, I just want to get there. Make sure I get there. So this is the type of class I would use. Or in the middle of a game, I'm getting stunned a lot. My opponents are all using stuns. You know, I got to take this out. This is probably the best thing to do. You can have a mix. Obviously, you can take out uh, lightweight. You can put attack resist and steady aim. You know, you can mix it up. But this is basically a, a rush class with attack resist. Then, now I have a vector with red dot and grip. A lot of people like red dot and muzzle break, but honestly, I just I find it inconsistent. Like when you're using muzzle break, it re sometimes it has a really bad recoil, and sometimes it can be fine. <coughs> so I just I haven't been feeling their muzzle break too much. I've been using it with grip, and it's actually been working really well. So I'm liking it. I just left it like that, and I have a stun nade. You know, not selfish class stun stuff, stun my opponent, throw nades on flags. You know, help clear out the spawn or etc. And then I have my, a car, my AR class. This is not basically the only class I use on Octane Domination. I pull out an AR here and there. I'm on some flags, like maybe Strikes on Domination, I'll pull out the Remington. like to secure A. It's, a, it's basically a situational class. Not many players do it, but I tend to do it sometimes because I, I like adapting to the situations. And I got Lightweight, Marathon, and Quick Draw. Also, I know this is kind of a weird class, but I like it. I like to be aggressive AR, so I'm constantly running around or getting to like uh, power spots and stuff like that. So you know, I got the lightweight marathon to add to that, and then I got a quick draw, which is really necessary. And then obviously, thanks to specialists, I can get ready up as soon as I get two kills, so it's a win-win. And then I got muzzle break and inc uh, not incog, a thermoscope, thermal hybrid, I believe it's called. The muzzle break's really good. Uh, I find it better in grip. I used to use grip a lot. I didn't mind it, but I feel like oh, I feel like the muzzle break is just a lot better. You can actually map people in two bullets really quick. You kill them fast. You just got to make sure you tap it because if you spray it with it, it might miss. And the thermal hybrid's really nice. I actually like using it a lot. And what else? Also, what you guys can do is obviously you guys can play on default. And then you can switch the paddles to, you know, you can knife or jump. You can jump and crouch with your paddles. But I, I like my configurations. Like, I like jumping with the left paddle and knifing with the right paddle. It's much simpler. And I want to tell you guys one more thing. Uh, the Bison, I used it on land. I mean, I don't know if it's, on, if it's online or it's just... But on land, it wasn't that good. It was way more inconsistent than it was, uh, that it is online. So... A lot of teams are going to try to start, like, we're going to play league matches today. We're going to try to get teams to just agree to not use the Bisons at all. 
So it can be back to MTAR, vectors, etc. So it'll just be a lot more fun and fair. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. Subscribe and peace.